Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodnacks.com, where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. Today, we are creating and customizing borders in Google Docs. Surprisingly, there is no direct way to make a page border in Google Docs, but there are a few easy-to-do workarounds presented in 2.5 ways in this video. By means of creating a single cell table, the second way is to literally draw the border, and then we get some ready-made ones from the web. We start from the simplest and the fastest one. The first way means creating a table consisting of a single cell, and then working inside of it like it's not even there. Not offering much customization, but it's just perfect when you need it fast and simple. On the document, go to the Insert on the toolbar, move into Table, and clicking on a leftmost box at the top. Here is our single cell table, but yet not formatted properly. Now, we expand it to fit on the page by pulling the table bottom margin down to near the page end. Maybe in a few takes. And just good. Except that I don't like that there's too much empty space left around it, so we'll change that now. We go to File and down to the Page Setup on the bottom of the menu. This column with fields is what we need, where we set a size of margins for all sides of the page. It's a default 1 inch now, and I will do 0.5 for each margin. And now it's OK in the bottom right corner to apply. Here we go. But then we'll make a border a bit thicker to make it look more like a border. Select your table and then go to this item on the toolbar on top. It's Border Width. And here I select the last option, the thickest one. Much better. You may choose either one you like. Then you can also change its color. It's this next pen icon. And select the color you'd like to use for your border. And then, if you'd like, here's the background color. The second way is performed via Drawing Workspace in Google Docs, since this option means creating kind of an image of a border. OK, we enter the drawing mode by clicking on the Insert on the toolbar, then drag the pointer to the third line drawing and select New on the right. That opens a drawing canvas over a dot, and we start creating the frame. In our case, we click on the Create Shape icon, then Shapes, and here you select any form you like. I will go with a basic rectangle. And then we draw the figure. Press hold anywhere on the empty space and then drag the mouse until you find the right position, and release it. Here it is. First of all, we'll do a transparent background. For that, we go here to Fill Color and selecting the bottom item, Transparent. Now it looks more like a border. So, what's different about this method is that you enter the data right here in the drawing workspace, instead of when you do it on the page. Double-click anywhere on the shape and type what you need. Then you can insert an image and etc. And let's finish with the border setup. We'll make it thicker. It's this item on a toolbar. I'll do 8 pixels. Then we change its color here with this pen icon. And fill the shape with some color if you'd like. Then hit Save and Close in the top right corner. And here it is on the document. You can move it or pull from its edges and the bottom margin to make it fit even a whole page. The last 0.5 option is an interesting one. Here, we search the web for a border and then inserting its image into the document. Let's go do it. It's Google.com. And here, we search for border image. Good. Now we switch the search results to images type here below the search bar. And here we have a lot of them. Although, one important thing we do before downloading either one of these. We press Tools here to the left on the toolbar, then clicking on Color in this new bar below, and selecting Transparent, because we want to be able to customize the background of the frame. 
Now, most of these are what you need and it's up to you to choose the style of your border. I'm picking some really simple vertical one. Now when you have it open, you know it's right if you see such a grid with squares inside of the border. Left mouse click on the image and select Save to a computer as. Now here in the second field, make sure that the format of the picture is PNG. Either way, it won't work the way we want. And saving it. Now we return to the rowing workspace. Clicking on the rightmost icon to upload it. Pressing here to choose an image from a computer, locating it, and uploading it. When it's here, you can see that it is transparent inside, which is just what we need. Now let's hit Save and Close, and here it is on the page. You can expand it by pulling from its edges and the bottom margin to make it fit even a whole page. Looks good, doesn't it? Although, the flaw of this method is that every time you want to change it and write something in it, you need to enter the drawing mode. Fortunately, it takes just a double click on the image. And here we are. Creating a text box. And writing something in it. I really love this option. It allows us to get some really nice design borders from the web and insert it in our document. Much more options with nice designs. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.